hello everybody. How is everyone doing today? It is December 30th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California, or Big Bear, California. And uh, this is the calm before the storm, the series of little storms coming through. So through the next series of storms, we aren't gonna have any calm, calm before the storm videos. We're just gonna consistently record it as if it's one storm. So hope everyone's doing well. I'm getting a lot better, thank goodness. Still feeling a bit under the weather, but that's okay. I will fully heal soon, I know I will. Um, so it looks like everything's gonna begin tomorrow afternoon on Saturday, Saturday the 31st in the afternoon. And we're not gonna get much in the afternoon, but once evening time hits, you guys, we could see a foot of snow just tomorrow night. And then after that, it's gonna be on and off, maybe one to three inches here and there for about five days. So it's not gonna be as much as originally thought, and it's probably not gonna pan out to be even this much, but we'll see. I'm gonna stay positive and be hopeful. So much traffic. But yeah, so all the snow you guys from the video I made yesterday melted immediately. Literally right when I was done recording, it changed over to rain for about, for, for a while, light rain, but within 20 minutes, all the new snow was gone. There's not, a, there's not any new snow left. I mean, look, there's nothing. But yesterday it was more impressive to me because it was gone within minutes. Because <laughs> town had a nice little blanket. <coughs> now not, now nothing. <laughs> so this isn't going to be the longest calm before the storm video i kind of wanted to just drive through some of the back streets because there is an awful lot of traffic in town we are on the north shore right now headed up to stanfield cutoff we're going to turn it turn down stanfield Day. This is a calm before the storm type of video for sure. Not a tree limb moving, nothing. It's just beautiful. favorite lake view in Big Bear. Right here. I love that so much. Turning and then we're golden, so we don't have to deal with all this traffic. <coughs> yeah, we made it. 
So yeah, guys, as I said, this isn't going to be the longest video. We're going to do a, sh a short little call before the storm video. So we're turning behind Vaughn's right now. We're going to take this little back route. So they turned this whole area into another spare parking lot for our ski resorts. It's amazing to me. Here, watch. They turn it in, they, they tear down all this nice, just dead land, <laughs> all this nice dead land to put in new huge parking lots for our ski resorts. So we have that much more parking up here without any more ski runs. Just so you guys can come up and ski less, wait in longer lines frustrates me so much because I, I don't want you guys to come up here and get sick of being here I want you to come up here and want to come back so yeah look at that look at that's a huge brand new parking lot and all of that is for our ski resorts and then there's another one we're gonna turn right so you can see that one as well these are satellite parking lots This other satellite parking lot. Guys, these aren't even the main parking lots for the ski resort. Like, these are just extra, as I said, satellite parking lots. Here, look, Fox Farm lot two to the left. Look at that, it's just craziness, you guys. Where does all the money go? Where does that, oh yeah, it goes to roundabouts. One day I'm gonna run for office in this town. I really am. For city council or something, eventually down the road. This is nonsense. Now they've, they've had an idea on and off, which is a terrific idea to connect Snow Summit and Bear Mountain with a few more lifts and quite a few more runs. And that would make it a world-class ski resort. It would be humongous. And our snowmakers, those guys are incredible at what they do. They do such an amazing job to cover so much space, so many acres in some fairly deep snow that they could make it work. I know they could. <coughs> but this next week, you guys, I think the reason a bunch of people still go to Mammoth anyway is because they're expecting like 170 inches of snow. Yeah, I didn't, I'm not misquoting that. It's something like 100, and it's like 155 to 170 inches of snow in the next seven days. Can you believe it? I can't believe it crazy it's just craziness but yeah guys it, I thought you guys might might get a kick out of seeing how everything was so white yesterday when I did that that uh, that recording of it snowing in town and now it's just nothing absolutely nothing you won't find anything from yesterday
cool, nice little park here, you guys. Beautiful park, actually. So anyway, we are on Park Avenue and we're taking it to the end here, which is called Knight Avenue. This is the street that Taco Bell is on, on the corner of Big Bear Boulevard. So we're gonna turn left here. I love you guys a lot. I love you guys a lot. You guys are so nice. You guys leave the most, the most incredibly loving comments. I cherish you guys, everything about you guys. You guys have kept me going and I, I owe you guys everything in the world. Everything good that happens to me, I owe you guys a piece of it. I really do. So I gotta figure that out. And I'm talking my emotional sanity. So anyway, we're coming up to Big Bear Boulevard now. I saw a man right here, guys. I was, I was parked right here, turning right, and he walked right from here, he walked right behind my car, and someone turned left really fast right here, boom, 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 and it sounded like a head-on collision with two cars going like 50 miles an hour, and I looked in my side mirror, and the guy was laying halfway on the curb and halfway in, in the street, and I was so scared. I was so scared. A bunch of people stopped right away because it was it was the loudest sound. It, I couldn't believe that 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 was a human being hit. Like it sounded like a car being smashed. And uh, I stayed in touch with him. Um, it took me a long time to find him uh, to make sure that he was okay. So I pulled into the Taco Bell parking lot, and I was watching them help him from the other side of the street because I. I called the police, obviously, right away, you guys. But, like, I am so weak with that that type of stuff. And, and that destroyed me for a long time. I mean, it destroyed me for a long time, that poor guy. But uh, I didn't think he made it because the whole f five or six minutes I was there, he wasn't moving. And a as I said, he was, like, awkwardly half, like, half his body on the curb, half his body on the ground. And he got hit by a lifted truck who was trying to beat traffic turning left. So like, he like hit his gas and didn't see the guy walking behind my car. And then boom, it was just horrifying. Every time I pull up to that stop sign right there, it's all I think about every single time. But I ended up somehow getting a hold of his niece because he was an, an older man. And they ended up sending me pictures of him in the hospital weeks and weeks later. I started bawling my eyes out once I found out he was alive and uh, he had a smile on his face and he was just really, really beat up from it, but yeah, super beautiful. To see him okay. I'm telling you guys, that's something you never want to witness. And I think we're going to try to get over and turn around instead of dealing with all this traffic. I'm over this traffic. But yeah, so starting tomorrow, you guys, a foot of snow possible by uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then Sunday morning, it looks like maybe an inch of snow. And then not really much Sunday night. And then Monday... A little bit in the morning and then maybe one to three inches at, at night Tuesday one to three inches in the morning one to three inches at night Wednesday maybe a little bit but, but not not so much as expected because a few days ago it was showing on some of these days during this next week it was gonna be like three to five inches and five to eight inches during the day on some of those days which when I did all, all the math, everything added up to about three feet of snow, if everything panned out properly, which it never does, but you know, I've gotta stay hopeful. I've gotta stay hopeful or it'll drive me crazy because the forecasting in this area is lunacy. It's almost pointless. Obviously they do the best they can, but this mountain range is, is really difficult to forecast, especially on this side. 
because those storms have to go through the whole mountain range to get to us first and the mountains have a way of ripping up storms so anyway we're going to turn down here and then take the back streets back to Moonridge so I will show you guys how to do that basically the next street that next stoplight up there that's called Pine Knot that is the village okay so I'm going to show you guys basically how to get from the village to Moonridge without having to do any of this traffic whatsoever. So pretend like you're in the village. Pretend like we're on Pine Knot right now. Which as I said, it's just one street over here to the right. So if we were on Pine Knot right now, we're, we're, we're running parallel to it. If we were on Pine Knot right now, you would turn left on Village Drive. And Village Drive turns into Pennsylvania Avenue. So we're, we're turning left here. This is Pennsylvania Avenue now. If we turn right, it's Village Drive. Stop sign, bro. You guys gotta be so careful. I think California has a hooked on phonics issue. Hooked on phonics didn't work for me. Serious guys, be extra, extra cautious. The worst place, even though it's one of my favorite places in the country by far, the worst place I've ever been for drivers is visiting my older brother when he lived on Brickle Key in Miami. He lived in a big, beautiful, like Fort Knox type of a private condo complex where they, you like pull your car up and they park it for you. And then you just call them when you're, you're ready to leave and they pull your car up for you. And it, it was just spectacular. Um, the worst drivers are in Miami by far. For instance, I'll give you an example. And I didn't believe my brother until I was there because I was like, no, nah, dude, you're exaggerating like usual. So let's say you're pulling into a left turn lane that just has the solid green, right? Not, not the arrow, but the solid green. Well, once that turns yellow, usually in this state, a car or two will still go through. But in Miami, once it's red, there's about seven or eight more cars that keep on going through. Like, it's like, I found it quite amusing. Instead of getting frustrated, I found it quite amusing. <coughs> so anyway, we are on now Jeffries. We, we're just, we just turned off of Pennsylvania, left on Jeffries, and you're gonna make your first right on Oak. right on McWinnie, McWinnie the Pooh. And then the next street we hit is called Wren, W-R-E-N. And as I said, imagine bumper to bumper traffic take you 45 minutes to get from the village just to Moonridge Road. This route will take you 10 minutes. So we're gonna hang a left on Wren and Stimpy. See, McWinnie the Pooh and Wren and Stimpy easy to remember these and then the next street we turn right on is brownie so if you're hungry for some really good dessert then you'll want to go on brownie okay so pennsylvania avenue that's where the president lives right and then you'll uh what was the next left i think it was jeffries so i don't have anything special for jeffries but 
where the president lives, and then you turn left on Jeffries, and then turn right on Oak. There's nothing special about that. And then uh, turn left on, oh my gosh, what is it? What is it? Eureka. That makes me think of that, that one, uh, um, Oh my gosh, why, oh my gosh, my, my brain is scrambled right now. Eureka! What's his name from all of those comic books? So, okay, let me try this again. Pennsylvania, where the president lives. Turn left on Jeffries, right on Oak, left on Eureka, which is part of a, uh, not, not novel, it's, it's something Oh my, whatever. I'm, I'm just trying to make it easier to remember. And I know I'm making it really much more difficult now. Um, so left on Eureka for the comic books. Right on McWinnie the Pooh. Left on Ren and Stimpy. And right on Brownie. Because you want a nice chocolatey dessert. Then you'll stay on Brownie all the way through. Thank you. And guys, we're gonna pass another Snow Summit satellite parking lot. This, and as I said, this isn't even the main humongous parking lot right at Snow Summit. So this will give you guys a sense. We don't, it's not the biggest ski resorts, guys. And we have so much parking now. Look at, this is another lot. This is Fox Farm lot number one. Or not Fox Farm lot, this is Brownie lot, my bad. <coughs> Miserable. Look at look at all of these people. I feel so bad because I want you guys to come up here when you're spending a hundred plus dollars for a lift ticket. I want you to get more than one run in, and I want you I, I want you to be able to charge down the mountain, not have to go super super slow and and be super patient of other people. That's no fun. My best suggestion to you guys, obviously it is a weekday right now. It is Friday right now, but it's a holiday, holiday weekend. Your best bet is to come up here during the week after the holiday season. Always during the week after the holiday season, you'll be way happy. But anyway, that's the con before the storm, guys. If you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always here for you. I'm sorry I talk so much. Sorry I never shut up and sorry I'm so annoying, but I love you guys. I hope that that helps everything. Bye, guys.